Hello everyone, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator and locator RTX attachments for Overdenture. This laboratory demonstration video is going to be describing how we go ahead and we size the appropriate abutment for either locator or locator RTX for our patients. As you see in front of me here, I have everything that we need to demonstrate this example. We have our already predetermined locator RTX abutments, and then our patient demonstration model with a small hand driver, either an 050 or 048 hex, and then a periodontal measurer. What we want to do is, is we want to go ahead and we want to size our patient that is if they were coming to us either after we had the implants placed by us or by our surgeon. We went ahead and we're going to go ahead and first step is, is we want to unscrew the healing abutments. As we unscrew the healing abutment, it's put away carefully. And then we're going to go ahead and measure the soft tissue cuff. And if you'd like to follow along, you can also see a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to do this technique in the locator RTX technique manual. Also, this uh, demonstration also covers the traditional locator uh, abutment system, which measuring the soft tissue height is pretty identical between the two. So once we've gone ahead and we've removed the healing abutments, we can see here we've got our implants in place. What we want to do is just we want to take our periodontal probe and we want to measure from the top of the implant to the top of the soft tissue. And my periodontal probe is giving me a measurement of three. As I move around that implant, I'm probing just the platform all the way around. If you're working with an external hex implant, this part's easy. But an internal connection implant like you see in here, this is just a standard hex type of implant connection, we want to measure from the top part of the outside portion of the dental implant. Now you don't want to push too hard. You don't want to push too hard because it'll go down into the soft tissue around the implant, potentially injuring the soft tissue. You just kind of start from the center and then work our way out until we reach just the edge of the implant. Now as I move around, you'll notice that the soft tissue is perfectly three millimeters on the lingual. And then as I come across to the mesial, it's more like 3.2, 3.5. And as I come here to the distal, it might even go to maybe 3.4, 3.3. And then as I come to the facial, it's a solid three. Looking here on the other side, also on the lingual, perfectly three millimeters. And then right around that 3.4, 3.5 mark for each of the proximal areas. Now some people will say, well, I want to make sure I choose the largest of those numbers. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and say, well, everything is 3.4, 3.5. So uh, maybe I should err and, and, and get a slightly taller abutment. And I caution you against that. I really recommend trying to choose the lowest profile height abutment that you can possibly work with. So case in point, if I measure a three millimeter here on both of the linguals and then a right around a three on the facial, but it's 3.2 here on the mesial and then maybe 3.4 or so here on the distal, we're gonna go ahead and choose three millimeters. And the reason behind that is, is, is that all you need exposed is just the working portion of the locator or locator RTX abutment. And what happens is, is, is that it's so simple. All you do is, is you choose that soft tissue measurement and that's what you want to order from Zest. Because when they send you back the abutment, everything is all done and connected, ready to go. This is the packaging. The measurement that you've just measured is from the edge of where this platform is, not to the top of the abutment, but actually to the top part of the working portion that goes below the soft tissue, matching the portion above the soft tissue meaning that three millimeters is going to be the measurement from the bottom part which connects to the platform of the implant to just below the portion that needs to be exposed out of the mouth. So if you take another look at it as I get a little bit closer, the portion that needs to be exposed in the mouth is from that line right here on the RTX abutment. Everything from here up needs to be supra gingival where this portion from here down can be either at or below the soft tissue. 
and then of course this portion is just where it would meet for the dental implant. How we do that is, is we take that measurement that I just told you about, we have somewhere between 3 and 3.4, and we're going to go ahead over to our either locator or locator RTX ordering guide. Our ordering guide is more or less just giving us a description of everything that we would need to purchase for either locator or locator RTX. Also gives you a reminder of how to measure the soft tissue. And then you can go ahead and choose based upon which implant type you have, the diameter of your connection or platform, and then gives you the ordering number that you would tell Zest what you want for your implant. Alternatively, you can order directly from Zest or through your dental implant supplier. So in this case, if we say we have a Zimmer internal connection implant and we have 3 to 3.4 millimeters of soft tissue height, I'm going to want to choose the 3 millimeter soft tissue height. If I had everywhere mesial, distal, maybe lingual, except for the buckle, covered by say 3.5, 3.6 millimeters of soft tissue, maybe the buckle's only two. I would probably want to err on the side of a little bit taller. However, if it's only say one out of four of those four potential sites, I'd want to err on the side of caution and choose something a little bit shorter. So I'm going to choose the 3.0 millimeter cuff height for my 3.5 millimeter platform, which would be this number, 3.02003. When I order that from either Zest or my dental implant company, it's going to come in this little package in this vial in a sealed pouch. Everything you have here is just meant to more or less go directly to the patient's mouth. However, it's recommended that you sterilize this in an autoclave uh, or with a cold sterilant before you place this directly in the mouth. Now, typically in my office, that's what I do. I place this into a uh, cold sterile and then I irrigate out the implant either using a sterile water uh, or a um, uh, chlorhexidine type rinse. I'm going to take the abutment to the implant and then place and start turning until this blue part just doesn't turn anymore and breaks away. At this point I'm going to take out my hand driver and it takes either the 050 or the 048 connection. So it's essentially a hex driver on top of the locator RTX abutment. For the traditional legacy locator cases you would need to use the little gold tool as part of the core tool. Now after I've tightened that down all the way you can now see that I've got the perfect height of the locator RTX abutment. All I want exposed is just that top portion so approximately 1.8 to 2 millimeters above the soft tissue. Just enough for my denture to grab that little edge right underneath there. I'm going to repeat for the other side, taking my vial open. And in this case, I'm going to simulate removing that onto my driver and then placing directly onto my implant hand tighten until it's snug all the way. Now at this point what you would want to do is just want to go ahead and torque the abutment down. So I recommend the torque values as established by your dental implant company. Also there are recommendations within the technique manual for either locator RTX or for legacy locator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my torque driver and then I'm going to place the tip of the driver inside of the implant and then tighten until it reaches 30 newton centimeters in this case for this implant system. So now we can go ahead and start working with our locator RTX abutments. But this has just been a short clinical and laboratory demonstration just to give you an idea of how we properly size our locator RTX and locator legacy abutments. This is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator and locator RTX attachments for overdentures. Thanks for tuning in.